Welcome back. This is Excel Video 64. I'm Nate Moore. I'm going to show you a VLOOKUP uh, error that you see a lot when you're trying to look up uh, particularly numbers. And I want to show you how to get around it. I've uh, changed the diagnosis codes and picked some new ones here. So I'm just going to do the plain VLOOKUP. We're not going to do the if error thing yet. I want to look up B2 like we've done in the past. Still same old diagnosis code table, lock in with F4 that we've done in the past. We'll do the false thing. And it says not available, and you say, well, why is it not available? And the, the reason is, if you look, and, and Excel, one of the hints is Excel will try to help you with some uh, formatting. If you go here, this is formatted general, you can see, and it's all the way to the right. If you look over here, let's go all the way up to the top. This is left justified and formatted as text, which is your first clue that some of these things are in there as text, and some of the, some, these numbers are in there as text, and these numbers are in here as values. You can the other clue you can see is see how the 196 doesn't have the point zero at the end. I mean, it's a little bit screwy, and you can tell that these are numbers and these are text. So when you try to look up a number in a text field, Excel says, "Hey, I can't find it," and you get the error. The easy way to fix it in Excel 2007, I'm going to select the range, shift in and down, is I'm going to go to the data tab, and there's a text to columns button that's uh, generally used to import data. You got a bunch of text from, say, uh, your EMR, your practice management system, you want to download it into Excel and then play with it. You, uh, you can use this text to columns thing if it's uh, what they call comma delimited, or if there's a comma between each field that you're importing. I only want this this one column, so I'm not going to worry too much about the delimited amount or the delimiters, whether it's a tab or a comma or, what, a comma or whatever. All I want to do is say, hey, look, I want these to be text now. I don't want them to be general format. I want them to be text. And if you do that and hit finish, now look what happens to my formula. Now it says, aha, now I'm looking up a text field in a text field in diagnosis codes. I'm good to go. Copy this down, and now I can find it. Now I still have the same not available problems that I had before. See, part of this problem is that I don't have the point zero at the end, so we're going to put the point zero at the end, and that's probably the problem here. We could go back and do the if error thing and clean up these NAs. We could go back and conditionally format and find them. We could sort them to the top. There's lots of things we could do with the NAs to remind us, whoops, we need to do a point zero at the end. But that is the trick to go to select the data that you want. Once you know that one set of data is for, is formatted as a number and the other is formatted as text, make them the same. And here, where it's diagnosis codes and I got points after the decimal and it's kind of messy, I just want them all to be text. You'll find the same thing with CPT codes and modifiers. The TC modifier, you may as well make them all text. Select the range, shift in and down, text to columns, and then go through and make them all text and you'll be back to where you expected to be with uh, VLOOKUP. You'll use that a bunch of times with diagnosis codes, CPT codes, other things that you're importing, maybe a chart of accounts numbers in your accounting system. Make sure that both what you're looking for and what you're looking up, they're all um, both formatted as text. You should be just fine. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.